Well, these latest shootings and a previous attack on a pair of Seattle officers has prompted a change in the way the Spokane Police Department does business. KXLY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live in the arena parking lot to show us how. Jeff? Well, Robin, this is where we used to see some of the Spokane police officers write their reports in their cars at the end of the shift. They felt safe here in the arena parking lot because there is an event here they could see for 100 yards in any direction and spot a threat before it got to them. However, now the chief has banned solo report writing here in the interest of officer safety. My concern, as I'm sure is your concern, this is... Uh, Probably copycat. Today, Chief Ann Kirkpatrick attended each of her department's roll calls, telling officers that a rash of West Side shootings has her worried about their safety. Even when they get Clemens in custody, I do not think, nor should you think, that this is over or potentially over. I think the danger is still there. Kirkpatrick thinks Maurice Clemens was inspired by a Halloween night ambush on a pair of Seattle policemen after they wrote someone a ticket. She's now concerned about additional copycat attacks and doesn't want her officers to be sitting targets. So what I'm asking you to do is that you do not write police reports in your patrol car. I want you to come into the station or go to cop shops or have someone with you as some kind of lookout. Officers spend up to two hours every shift writing reports, but if they do that in their car, police can stop filling out their paperwork and respond to calls for service faster. Now they have to choose between their safety and crime fighting efficiency, and their chief is open to suggestions. Y'all are the ones who are going to be out there. If you think that going to a two officer car approach for a while, is the thing to do, I will approve it. Two van patrol cars would be very nice and much safer, but it is simply a luxury a city the size of Spokane cannot afford. That means, meanwhile, officers will have to be even more aware of their surroundings, but invariably, that tends to put up barriers between the officers and the public they serve and protect. Reporting live in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.